All right, so let's go ahead and get into it, man. Apple MagSafe battery pack after one year of usage, all right? I like to do these revisited videos, especially when it comes to accessories like this that's not cheap, all right? We are talking about a MagSafe battery pack that isn't cheap, but I wanna talk about it because I've been using it. My mind has changed about it. I've did multiple videos on this Apple MagSafe battery pack. So I feel like now it's been a year, a little over a year, like a year and three months since this thing has came out. I want to talk about it with me having over 20 MagSafe battery, well, not MagSafe battery packs. People all get sensitive and say, I don't know what I'm talking about, but wireless power banks that has magnetic capabilities. I want to add, you know, I want to see, and I, I, I still feel like this is the best battery wireless MagSafe battery pack out there that is made for the iPhone, all right? Now, I know a lot of you don't agree with that statement, all right? I did a YouTube poll on my community tab asking people, do you use this Apple MagSafe battery pack? And of course, like I thought it was gonna be, more people don't use it that do, you know what I mean? But I don't blame you, all right? When this thing first came out, I wasn't a fan, all right? I just didn't buy it. I was like, you know, whatever this thing is gonna be a waste of time. And I think a lot of people feel the exact same way. And of course, because of the price, this thing is like a hundred bucks. And the price hasn't went down much since it's been out. But when you go buy yourself one, all right? And I finally went out there and picked it up and I began using it the way it was intended to be used. I think that's where a lot of people just misunderstand this Apple MagSafe battery pack because they don't realize the use case and how it's used on your iPhone, all right? This is not like your traditional wireless MagSafe magnetic power banks, all right? These are, this is ESR, these are anchors. Now, I'm not taking anything from these battery packs. They are good in their own way, all right? More so this one than this one, but you know, it is what it is. But these just do one thing. These are just gonna provide power. It's just gonna charge and charge and charge, and it doesn't care about heat management. It doesn't care about anything except getting your phone to 100%, all right? And that is not the case when it comes to the Apple MagSafe battery pack and how it's intended to be used. So a lot of people think about this thing like, oh, I can, this thing doesn't even have the half the capacity that something like this or this as, why am I gonna go out there and get it? Yes, but when you put this on your phone and charge it, your phone heats up to a fireball, all right? You don't gotta worry about that when it comes to the Apple MagSafe battery pack. So let me go ahead and give you a scenario of how this is used because I've used it over multiple iPhones in this whole time, and it has not degraded when it comes to power or anything. This thing is still kicking along just fine. So yesterday, I had my iPhone 14 Pro Max right here, all right? Eight o'clock in the morning, 100% slap the Apple MagSafe battery pack up there, all right? I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and test it. I haven't tested it in a, you know, on the 14 Pro Max so far. Now, they has two modes. Let's go ahead and show you real quick. So when you slap this on, you have two modes that you can use for when it comes to the Apple MagSafe battery pack. You can have it on charge past 90%. Now, if it charge past 90%, what the battery pack will do is it'll let your phone get all the way to 100, and it'll keep slow sipping, kind of a trickle charge to the actual you know, phone from the battery pack to keep your phone at 100%. Or, which I found is the better way to use it, to not put it on charge 90%. So you can press it, it'll check. You unpress it, it'll take the check mark off. And this, I feel, is the best way to use the Apple MagSafe battery pack because what this does is it keeps your phone hovering around the 91, 90% range, all right? So yesterday I slapped it on, eight o'clock, 100% battery charge and 100% Apple MagSafe battery charge. Use this phone heavy. Responding to YouTube comments, taking work calls, responding to emails, talking on the phone, taking phone calls, whatever you can Twitter, Whatever I do on a daily basis when it comes to a phone, and I do a lot on my phone, it was getting to around 6 p.m. The Apple MagSafe battery pack still probably had about 70% charge up there, and my phone was still sitting at 91%. That is the way this Apple MagSafe battery pack is intended to be used, all right? When you you know you got a busy day, you just slap this on the back of your phone. Now, I know a lot of people are like, T, why would I put this thing, why would I walk around with this thing on my phone like this? Yeah, I get it, you know what I mean? But it's thin, it's slim, and if you get a case that has a strong MagSafe magnet, I'm using the phone Rebel Gen 4, Kadabe Sheath, Kadabe Synthesis, any, you know, uh, the smartest Gripzilla, any case that has a very strong MagSafe magnet, trust me, when you put this back up here, you can slide it in your pocket, you can do whatever you have to do and you're not gonna worry about this thing coming off, all right? Now, I'm not saying this is intended for everyday use, but days that you know you're gonna be out and about 
and you're gonna be need, you're, gonna, you're gonna need your phone. Everybody needs their phone when they're out and about. That's where this Apple MagSafe battery comes into play. So you're telling me I can use my phone from eight o'clock to six p.m. heavy and still have my phone sit at ninety percent with the Apple MagSafe battery pack still sitting around seventy or seventy-five percent. In my opinion, that's an absolute win. You're telling me that I can get probably like two days of battery life when you pair the Apple MagSafe battery pack with the phone. Now, I'm not going out there and tell you to use this battery pack as a cripple, all right? I'm not using this as a cripple. Yes, I've been on record to tell you, I feel like the app, the 14 Pro Max battery is a little suspect. It's recently got a little bit better with the recent update, but I still feel like I pulled battery battery life on my 13 Pro Max. But if you have a phone, especially like a mini series, when the 12 and the 13 mini was out, this Apple MagSafe battery pack was like their saving grace because we all know the battery on those wasn't the best. That's where this thing came and it was an absolute champion for those devices. So that's what I'm talking about, man. Once you intend to, you have to know how this is intended to be used. I then think you can get a better understanding and a better appreciation for the Apple MagSafe battery pack. So I take this with me everywhere if I travel, now, yeah, I will probably take a big boy with me, like a 10,000 milliamp hour. These can usually charge more than one device. This can get your phone from zero to 100. This is what you use when you're really in a pinch. But if I'm traveling, say it's travel day and we're on the airplane and I don't wanna have to hook this big thing up or slot this in my pocket or, or try to have this big old thing attached. Nah, that's not gonna work for me. But I will slap this on. I will slap this on and I know this is gonna be able to stay up there with a strong connection and guess what? I have all the power that I need to last about two days in case something happened, emergency, worst case scenario. I know one thing is I'm going to have a phone and I'm going to have a battery, you know what I mean, when it comes to that. So that's what I really love about the Apple MagSafe battery. And another thing about this is it has passed through charging. So you can put this on your phone, plug the Apple MagSafe battery pack up, and when you wake up in the morning, both your phone and your, your battery pack is going to be on 100% and it's gonna be ready to go. And you can also use this kind of like a, a wireless pad, all right? So when you charge it via MagSafe, it's gonna be charged at 7.5 watts, all right? But if you do plug it in, Type-C, well, Type-C, I, I, just, I, just, I want it to be Type-C, all right? So when you plug it in through Lightning, you can then charge your phone up to 15 watts, or you can get 15 watts of output when it comes to the Apple MagSafe battery pack. But if, say you can use this like a little wireless plug, say you got your AirPods, and, and let me pop it down. And you hear the little charger noise, you see the light come on, and then it's, it can sit here and be used to charge your AirPods, you know what I mean? So not only can it be used to charge your phone, but you can use it to charge your accessories up like your AirPods and different things like that, man. But I just love this Apple MagSafe battery pack. Over a year, this thing has not degraded with power. It still is. It still gives me just enough juice as the first day that I have brought it, because guess what? With all of that, what I told you it can do, put it on my phone, I can have it up there for just about 24 hours. This thing will barely heat up. On a scale from one to 10, which 10 is being the cool, one is cool, 10 is hot, this thing maybe gets to about a two. When I'm talking about, and especially if you keep it on, if you take off charge past 90%, it will stay cool to the touch like it's not even being used. And that's what it's about when it comes to this, man. Optimized for your phone. It's not going to hurt your battery health like a lot of these Anchor products out here that gets hot. And I'm not knocking on Anchor, but I'm just using them because this is the most popular brand who sells these. This is not optimized for your phone. This is just going to charge it. It's going to get warm. And it has one job to do. But this one right here is made for your iPhone. It's going to protect your battery help so you don't have to worry about your battery degrading over time if you use something like this. And that's just why I've always been a champion for this product. Once I actually started using it, I can guarantee you out there, most of the people who talk negative about this product probably have never used it and they're just going off what people have said about it. They're going off what news article has been saying about it. But this is a product that you have to actually get in your hands and use it day in and day out. And then once you find the use case for it, trust me, trust me, trust me, you will enjoy this product. And like I said in the very beginning, I still feel like this is the best MagSafe battery pack out there for the iPhone. And I wish Apple would just make another one. All right. I wish we could update. I hope this isn't the only version of this battery pack that we see. I hope they update it. I wish they give us better colors. I wish they give us a little bit more juice. Although this is fine, and that's probably why they haven't touched it, because this is absolutely fine for what it does and what it's intended for. But 
I think I would like to see another one, maybe a little thinner. I mean, I love what Anchor, what they're doing over here with making how thin it is, but I don't want it too thin because then that's when you're kind of sacrificing, you know, you might get a little bit of heat and different things like that. But would love to see Apple follow up and make an update to improve the Apple MagSafe battery pack. But as it is today, the current state and the where it stands, it is the best and the most safe MagSafe battery pack for your iPhone, all right? So I'll leave the link down below. Yes, it's a little bit pricey, but trust me, you're going to appreciate it in the long run when it actually saves your phone's battery life. And you don't look at it one day and it's down to 90% when it comes to your battery health. This thing right here will keep it held together just fine, all right? So links will be down below. Go grab yourself one on Amazon, man. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because you know I'm bringing you the accessory videos for the 14 Pro Max. Y'all be safe. Catch you on the next one. Later.